We have sand, water, tropical jungles, and bullets today on At Your Leisure. I'm Stephen Hume. Come with Alicia Staten and me as we find warm water with a bit of speed thrown in for good measure. Then Reese Stein finds himself on the other side of the world. Where is he? And are the natives friendly? Well, he'll have the answers. Finally, Corey Toon hits the Vegas Strip but finds more than just casinos waiting for him. Where can you be trained to fire guns like these? Corey takes you through the course. Get ready to pull the trigger for excitement because AYL is next. <laughs> Welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Stephen Human, And I'm Alicia Staten. And right now we are at Sand Hollow State Park. This is the newest state park in the Utah State Park system. It is a beautiful place with sand dunes, with water. It pretty much has everything you could ask for in a destination, spring, summer, fall, winter. I'm just going to say it. This is an At Your Leisure perfect destination. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Because it kind of has a little bit of everything yes. for you. Oh, yes. And my kids are loving it. Well, I've got my, my eight-month-old just sitting in the sand playing. And... See, I say kids because my husband's enjoying himself, too. <laughs> <laughs> sand Hollow is an amazing destination. There's all kinds of things you can do on the water and on the sand. For, for example, we're out here on the dunes. These are 100% natural dunes that have formed over thousands of years, and it becomes an amazing playground for your ATV and side-by-side. -side. You have to have flags, of course, but you can also bring your Jeeps out here, and you can just go to town. This is an amazing place, and there's all kinds of interesting stuff out here that we're going to show you today. Interesting is just too vague, Steve, because actually there's some unique things under the water that I've heard scuba divers from all over come to check out. So Ranger Wilson's going to show us a bit about that. We're going to take you around, show you everything from the water. There's some very interesting things there here out on the sand. Just have a really fun day. You ready? I'm absolutely ready. All right, let's hit some more dunes. But right now, we've got to head off to our travel adventure with Corey Toon. Thanks, Steve. I'm just south of you, outside of Las Vegas in the desert, and these guns are not just for show. These are real guns, and there's so many things and so much adventure to have here in Vegas, both on the Strip and off the Strip, and today I'm going to show you both of them, but more specifically, one destination that really hits the bullseye. Las Vegas, America's playground, known across the globe as Sin City and the entertainment capital of the world. Vegas has height, flare and enough lights to draw attention to itself, even from space. The Strip is of course a big draw for gamblers and tourists, and the casinos cash in every day of the week because of it. Honestly, all by itself, the Vegas Strip has a lot to offer that is fun and engaging, but if you want real adventure, you need to step away from the neon a little bit. Now sometimes you don't have to go very far, but we'll get to that in a minute. For now, let's hit the trail. Just south of Vegas on Highway 95, the desert stretches out seemingly forever. Seriously, you could just get lost in it. But if you turn southeast on Nevada Highway 165, you'll find a land that is quite different. El Dorado Canyon is a fun and interesting destination with a very eclectic taste, but it opens up to ATV adventures that take you into desert landscapes of beauty and history. This is still a mining area and has been for well over a century. You can ride out into the wilds and discover the tops of chasms that once were used by miners to access their veins of gold. The ATVing is great and the multitude of trails lead you all the way to the Colorado on the east and the chance to explore in even more ways. Now if you want to hike in the Vegas area, you actually don't even need to go as far as El Dorado. Just on the west side of town is Red Rock. It's an area of crimson stone, perfect for climbing, mountain biking, and just exploring on foot. You can get to the Red Rock Conservation Area on the 95 too, just by heading west from downtown instead of east. Now there are so many adventures to be had here in Vegas, and some of them even include guns. Now remember how I said you didn't necessarily have to go far from the Strip to find adventure? Well, adventure may not be the right word, more like Battlefield. Battlefield Vegas is an indoor experience where you can shoot anything from World War I to what's on current operations right now. My partner and I, we thought about, you know, we own two gun stores here in town. He owns one on one side, I own the other. And we figured we're somewhere in the middle we should meet. And this is what came out. We did, I think, three tours in Iraq, and we wanted to take his knowledge and then my knowledge of the guns and come up with something together and have a little fun with it. 
we want it to be a full experience. You know, most people are never going to join the military and there's nothing wrong with that, but we just want you to walk into a place where you're, you know, you're overwhelmed with it. The sandbags, the, the, the vehicles, the whole nine yards. Battlefield Vegas is a full firearm experience, from the training on how to properly use the weapons all the way to the actual firing of the bullets. They pick you up at your hotel and bring you out of the glamorous world of Vegas and instead treat you to an experience that is like something out of a video game, but it's all too real. And you have a chance to get up close and personal with every type of weapon imaginable. We have everything from captured weapons and everything you've seen in the movies since we're a little kid from World War II, World War I, Rambo. We get so many tours from around the world it, it's almost illegal for them to think about shooting a gun, let alone hold one and they get to come here and, and experience something they've only seen in movies. Most of the employees and trainers at Battlefield Vegas are retired military and give visitors real hands-on instruction on how to properly use the weapons at their disposal. Different packages include weapons from different eras and allow you to go back in time and train for a day just like your grandfather did before hitting the beaches of Normandy. It's that connection to history and the weapons of our ancestors that make the experience something special. If I had to pick one weapon in here that I love shooting, it's actually the German MP40 from World War II. It's so smooth, it just, it, it's probably the, the finest uh, generation, uh, first generation submachine gun there is. And again, I've ever since the little movies, when I was uh, watching movies since I was a little kid, that's what they've been using in them. Vegas has something to offer to everyone. For those with an itch to gamble, to someone looking to explore a desert oasis. Now, if you want to fire a 50 caliber machine gun, you can do that too. And surprisingly, this is a family-friendly destination where even the kids can come and learn how to properly use, and even more importantly, respect firearms. So many people are scared of weapons, and I understand it is a tool. It's a tool for defense. Bad things happen if it's not used properly. So I really enjoy when parents come in here and they want to see their kids shoot it, because all of a sudden it takes that fun factor out of it. They know that they hear the noise, they, hear the, they feel the recoil and it's changed from a video game or a movie to, to realism. I'll see the kids, you know, they come with the big smiles and then you'll see the little bit of fear and afterwards, once they're over, you know, you can see it again in their face. It was fun, but I think they develop a real respect for the, what a firearm is. If you want more information on Battlefield Vegas, go to their website, battlefieldvegas.com. They even have an outdoor shooting experience, which is what I'm going to go do now. For At Your Leisure, I'm Corey Toon. Well, thank you for that wonderful travel adventure. And as always, if you want more information, please go to our Facebook page or to our website, AYLTV.com. So I am here with Ranger Wilson of Sand Hollow State Park. So tell me what makes this park so much fun for those that are unaware of it, about it. It's great because you can bring your family out here. And if you have a boat and if you have an ATV, um, that even makes it more great, but you don't have to have that to be able to come out here and enjoy yourself. I mean, we've got plenty of beach where people can come out and build sand castles. It's become popular to build those. Um, people just go swimming in the lake. So if you've got a boat, ATV, um, you bring it to the park, and you, you don't have to have that when you come to the park. I mean, you you don't. As, no, as uh, can you rent them here? You can rent them. There's a number on our our concessions that will allow you to rent the oh, ATVs. Nice. So yeah, it's nice to have that. I saw the nice spacious camping area that you had as well. Right. Well, there's a couple of different places where you can camp out here. One of them right now is the uh, sand pits, is where people were really flocking to. Um, they love that because if they have ATVs they can drive right from their campground right up on the sand dune or right down to the lake and it's within walking distance to the lake as well. And I heard there are some fun things underneath the water that you'll have to stay tuned to see. But right now we have to take a quick commercial break. Polaris Snow Check Select is going on now. Pre-order your custom 2015 Polaris snowmobile at the best prices of the year. At Triple S Polaris, we're going above and beyond, offering the most customization options on the number one mountain sled available. With the S3 Snow Check Package from Triple S, upgrade to a 155, 163, or 174 inch Camelplast X3 track for the best deep powder performance you've ever experienced. Snow Check through April 15th and hit the mountain like never before. Triple S Polaris, service to the power of three. 
When customers come into a dealer to buy a motorhome, they want that dream of having a motorhome. They want to be able to use it. They want to be able to take their family out, but they have concerns. They have concerns of how much they're going to use it, how much it's going to cost them. What if you could make money on that RV? One of the things with Pappy's, we give them an option to be able to rent that motorhome, get some great tax benefits, and produce income during that time frame. We take care of their maintenance, we store it, gives them the benefits of being able to basically go out and buy a new motorhome for the cost of an old one. Can't get enough of the outdoor excitement you can only find here in the West? Well, look no further than at your leisure. No matter how you like to recreate, no matter where you like to go, no matter what flavor of adventure you crave, you'll find it on AYL. Saturday nights at 10.30 and Sunday mornings at 9 on ABC4 Utah. The 2014 Ski Do Summit, featuring the T-Motion suspension and Flex Edge track. The suspension flexes. The track bends. Mountains break. T-Motion and Flex Edge for a more responsive and agile ride. It's technology you'll only find on ski -Doo sleds. The 2014 ski -Doo Summit. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are out here on Sand Hollow, and we're about to hit the water, but we were taking another lap on the sand and the razor, and we came across this trash that have been left behind. Just, you know, for future reference, don't do this. These are very pristine areas. Everybody wants to come out here and have fun. Don't yeah. leave your garbage. That's nasty. Yeah, so we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna take it back with us. If you ever come across this, do the same. Right now, we gotta take a look at our product review. Well, thanks guys. We've got a really unique product review today. We've got the YZF 450 brand new uh, 2014 four-stroke. And we've got Jeremy here who's one of the top riders in the state to tell us all about it. What do you think about this new bike? Oh, I love it. It's it's awesome. You know, I've been on been riding Yamaha's for a long time. This new 2014 bike they've made it a lot better. Uh, it handles better. It turns better. Um, they've made the gas cap under the seat so you can slide up in the corners, get more aggressive in the corners. Um, it's got a lot more power and it's really smooth. So the bike has changed a lot, and I'm enjoying it a lot. What are the kind of exact features have they done? Are the shocks or the engine kind of work they've done to it? Um, they've, they've changed the rotation of the motor so it does have more weight on the front end so the bike does handle better. They went with a bigger front axle to where it turns better. The, the pipe actually wraps around the motor now instead of uh, actually underneath the seat how it did before. So this is actually the bike you're going to be riding for this coming upcoming season? Yeah, this is this is the bike. You know, these guys carry Honda and Yamaha and uh, you know, I'm choosing to ride this YZ450F. I like it a lot. Been on Yamaha's a long time and they're very durable and if you're looking out there trying to figure out what bike to purchase, 2014 YZ450F would be the one right down to Stedman. You can stick you one up today. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's all the time we have for this, this segment. So uh, Darren Kinder, we'll see you next time. What you're looking at is the world's largest off-road lineup. Ranger, Sportsman, Razor, all industry leaders and all on sale now. Sportsman start at just $51.99. Razor's under 10 grand. Rangers start at $89.99. And top of the line XP900s come with a free winch. Get huge rebates and low monthly payments during the Polaris XP sales event. At Stedman's Recreation in Tooele, you'll find your best deal on Polaris.
Family, a simple word that carries more meaning than we can even understand. We base our entire lives around the smiles of our children and the moments that become cherished memories. At Ray City RV, we understand the importance of that family bond. As a family-owned business since 1946, we've been giving our customers the chance to make those memories in the backcountry of the West. Early spring savings on all Ray City RV camp trailers, fifth wheels, and motorhomes can make it more affordable than ever before. Ray City and Roy, turning dreams into memories one trip at a time. Parents, let me tell you a little secret. Your kids do not want to go boating with the neighbors or with friends. They want you to take them boating. They want to build lifelong memories with you. Take them fishing, skiing, tubing, wakeboarding. Take them out boating. Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main, executiveyacht.com. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Alicia, myself, and our families are out on the waters of Sand Hollow. This is a reservoir just outside of Hurricane, Utah, right on the Arizona border. And it is a beautiful place, as you can see all this red rock. You have different types of recreation from the water. You have razor stuff. You have ATVs out there. Lots of things to do. But the lake itself has some unique features. We're actually going to go on a tour and show some of them off to you right now. So why don't you climb aboard and let's go. Okay, so what do we have over here that's so unique about Sand Hollow? You know what, uh, right here about where my boat is right now, um, straight down from us, is, a, is an airplane that they, they put in the water um, for scuba divers oh, to wow. come down and, and check it out. And they have a Volkswagen bus up here a little ways. Um, but if, yeah, about right here. And on a clear day, sometimes you can come down and, and you can see it um, in the water if you've got a kayak or anything like that. Anybody see a VW bus? Because apparently there's one right here. So Ranger Wilson, how is it that you get a plane or a bus out here on the water to dump it? You know, our uh, our dive team and search, search and rescue teams, I believe, got uh, in contact with the park and let us know that they wanted to do something like that and uh, to explore it. And so they were able to get uh, get it out here and, and uh, use it. And it. Brought a lot of people into the park, especially for scuba diving. So. People say that they've, they've got their names carved in the rocks, um, but it's all covered in water right now, of course. But, uh, so in a thousand years, those names will be historical markers. See, that's one thing that I think is interesting about this lake is because it's only been around, you know, for 15 years, if that. So you think about, there, there are tons of people who actually rem remember this when there was no lake, who recreated out here with no water. About Easter time, a lot of people like to bring their ATVs out and their boats because it's about time when people start, it starts warming up. Awesome, you can park them right next to each other. Right, Pull yeah. the boat pump. Pop the boat up on the beach, have the ATVs there, you can take yeah. them out at the same time. Best of both worlds. And that's a destination. <laughs> All right, well, we got to head out to our trailhead adventure. Here's Reese Stein. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, and a few years ago we used to play a TV game called Where's Reese? Let's see if you can guess where I am this time. We're on the third largest island on Earth, straddling the equator, floating in the South China Sea, surrounded by the world's oldest rainforest. It's the only place on Earth you'll find the big-nosed proboscis monkey, along with thousands of other kinds of critters and plants. The island boasts spectacular national parks and modern crowded cities. While the island hosts three nations, we're in Malaysia, on the island of Borneo. Why here? One word orangutans. We joined a tour of 15 Americans on a visit to the Semengo Wildlife Refuge on Borneo. Our uh, trip here was to see some wildlife in Borneo and on the list the first thing was the orangutan. And so we went to the park, very patient, but then became very impatient because we had a hard time finding them. During the hour we were allowed to stay, the only orang was far off and our trip seemed to be a bust. And then as we were headed back to the uh, bus, lo and behold, they come out of the trees with mother, baby, and uh, a male pursuing a mother. And uh, they went over to a stand and ate. They crossed from one side to the other, and people were everywhere. But they were used to the people being there. And uh, they went about their business of eating bananas and uh, going into the forest. And uh, actually, the baby was clinging to the mother and uh, had beautiful faces, very large eyes, and just amazing to see and watch them move about freely. The matriarch Saduku, here with her baby, is a 37-year-old grandmother. 
Orangutans are among the world's rarest animals, found only here on Borneo and nearby Sumatra. Their numbers are dropping rapidly as their jungle habitat shrinks. That we were able to see these animals up close in a semi-wild environment is amazing. I think I came to Borneo with the idea of the orangutan. So for us to go to the orangutan park and actually walk among the orangutan was really something that was very, very special. Orangs aren't the only special creature on Borneo, and getting to the others is an adventure in itself. A wild ride in a tiny skiff across the bouncy South China Sea is the only way to get to Bako National Park one of the last sanctuaries of the proboscis monkey. These big-nosed primates are found only on Borneo, and while endangered, they're protected by law and roam unmolested in 16 parks and preserves on the island. This park is Malaysia's smallest, yet boasts great diversity. Seven ecosystems, from rainforest to sandy beaches. Along its rugged jungle trails, a vibrant green pit viper sleeps, while wild boars root in the rain-soaked mud. And at the end of the road, a magnificent secluded beach with rocky pillars and wild surf. A welcome relief from the 90 degree heat and muggy jungle humidity. A more sedate boat ride takes us across Batong Ai Reservoir in a traditional native canoe with modern motor to a longhouse village of Iban natives who show off their ancient lifestyle, which fortunately no longer includes headhunting, a great way to learn about the indigenous people whose history dates back 40,000 years. And a special way to view the rainforest from above, if you dare look down, a shaky canopy walkway carries us high above the jungle floor. This 130 million year old rainforest is a stark contrast to Malaysia's bustling modern cities replete with heavy traffic, towering skyscrapers, and ornate temples of the Buddhist, Muslim, Catholic, and dozens of other cultures that seem to meld flawlessly here. Reece Stein at your leisure on Borneo, Malaysia. Well, we'd like to thank RockyMountainATVMC.com for sponsoring that trailhead adventure. It's that great place where you can order all your motorcycle parts, all your ATV parts and gear, everything you need online and ship directly to your door. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Check them out. Oh, Steve, that's a mouthful, but it's worth it. So make sure you check it out. Yeah. Right now, we are walking around the RV park, which is huge, so spacious for all of the toys that you bring and it's right next to the lake. Not to mention you have the sand dunes literally as your backyard. Now another thing we haven't talked about yet here at Sand Hollow is the fishing. Fishing is a major draw here all year round. I mean obviously the lake doesn't freeze over so you're not going to do any ice fishing but you can come out here all year and you can get really good sized bass. This is a very famous bass fishery. So you can come out here bring your RV, stay at the RV park, hit the water, go skiing or fishing, whatever you want to do. It's a great spot. Well, we gotta take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have this week's giveaway winner. I have traveled for many weeks. I have come with a question. Where can I find the greatest snow? Ah, oh, you've asked the right question. He will show you the way. What? Do you want to find the greatest snow? No need to travel for weeks. Look no further than Cedar City and Brinehead for your access to adventure. Follow Ular to Cedar City, Brinehead and discover a playground of mythic proportions.
When you get off the trail or get off the lake, you want a clean place to come back to. When you come back to the Hilton Garden Inn, we take care of you. We've got quite a bit of luxuries that I love here. The office lounge is a great place to have dinner, have a cocktail if that, if that fancies you, and you can just sit down and relax. If you need to get to the trails, our front desk agents are amazing. They already have the maps printed out for you so you don't get lost wherever you're going. To make sure that you have a comfortable, clean environment with very helpful, friendly people. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We're out here on Sand Hollow State Park, just having a wonderful day experiencing all of the recreation opportunities that exist here, from the sand to the water and everything in between. It's been great. Bring our families out and just have a good day. That's right. What, did, what have you thought about it, Beach? Oh, it's wonderful. Just uh, the opportunity to come out with friends and get a chance to experience the outdoors. It, it's, and it's not very far from, oh. you know, back in Salt Lake City, so it's, you know, just a hop, skip, and a jump down here. We've had a great time. I think this little guy's had a good time as well. Have you been enjoying yourself? <laughs> well, oh, no, she yeah. had a great time playing in the sand. Oh, she loved it. Up Absolutely. in the dunes, so. <laughs> and we should say thank you to everybody that's helped us today, especially the DNR, and we've had yeah. a good time out here. Uh, but right now we have to take a look at our calendar events. All right, well, our first event is April 4th, 5th, and 6th. It is the Triple S Polaris second annual Moab ride. This is a great event and everyone is invited. They'll have two rides each day and a barbecue dinner on Friday night. Now, if you want more info or to reserve your place on the ride, call Brandon at 801-479-4455 or send him an email at triple S sales at comcast.net. You won't want to miss it. Also, April 12th through the 20th is, of course, the Moab Easter Jeep Safari. If you've never experienced this before, it is amazing, a lot of fun. You can explore tons of trails, see new Jeeps, and just have a blast. AYL is going to be down there, so you can come on and say hi. Join us April 12th through the 20th in Moab for the Easter Jeep Safari. We'll see you there. Okay, we'll check that out on our website or on Facebook, but right now we have our giveaway winner. Well, today for our sticker winner, we are pulling from the AYL mailbag. Dick Potochnik sent us a photo of his Jeep. You can see it right there with an AYL sticker proudly displayed. He was actually out exploring the history of Carbon County in his Jeep. Thanks for sending in the picture, Dick. You are our winner of a Camp Chef stove. These are great products. We give one away every month here on the show. So for the rest of you, get your AYL stickers. Send it in either by email mail it to us or put it on Facebook. Either way works and you can win. Well, congratulations. Now we have to take a look at next week's show. Well, Venice may be nice this time of year, but honestly, we wouldn't know because we've found that same atmosphere, but a lot closer to home. Chad Booth here. Next week, Rhea and I gondola at a very surprising destination. Then, Steve Human hits the trails in Arizona and finds surprising history and beauty. Own the outdoors with AYL next week. Well, next week's show looks awesome as always, but it has been so nice to be in a warm place. Oh, Stephen, yes it has. Thank you so much for having us coming out here today because this is such a fun family destination. It's been great to bring my family out here and your little girl as well. I know, it's just, it really is a surprising destination because you have a little bit of everything with the water and the sand, so you can go ATV and you can go boating. It's really the perfect destination. Well, we got a golf course right across the street. Exactly, <laughs> a golf course, that's what beaches are like. It's a golf course right there. So you got everything, and if you want to come here, finding it is really, really easy. Whether you're coming north or south on I-15, you just want to take the main hurricane exit, head as you're going into town, and after just two miles, basically on your right, you're going to see Sand Hollow Road. It'll take you exactly to where we are now, so you can have a fun family destination. That's right, but don't forget, from now until next time, enjoy the great outdoors at, at your leisure. leisure. All right, let's hit the water again. <laughs> so now we're going to swap. We're going to switch kids, <laughs> see who has the worst night. I guarantee it's going to be them. <laughs> oh, she did it, folks. That's good stuff right there.